Bitcoin created a gigantic bearish divergence. So in this exact video, I will talk about what this exactly means for Bitcoin. I will talk about the most important charts on the imminent short term, the most important support levels that we're literally retesting right now while I am recording this exact video. So I will be discussing this and many more important charts. So without any further ado, don't forget to slap up that like button on today's update video. Can we smash it back up 400? That will be absolutely incredible. And with that being said, let me jump straight away into the content and exactly on the point I uploaded yesterday's video I warned everyone that potentially we were going to come back down here and that was actually exactly the top that I made the video on so that was of course a very good update video but right now we're going to be looking at this massive support line that Bitcoin is creating so for the past what is it eight to nine days right now here I mean already 10 days Bitcoin has been holding this trend line and has been actually forming higher lows every single time and right now we are retesting this exact level if we however do break below this very important oversolving support line for bitcoin we could be expecting some more bearish price action is going to get created and that could lead towards uh, some more bearish price action for bitcoin i mean right now we're literally retesting the symmetrical triangle we created we created a symmetrical triangle we broke towards the upside we were about to be reaching our price target then moved all the way back down again here retesting this very important support for the first time we held on towards it but now we're breaking below it so the question really remains are we going to be holding the upward sloping support line here on the 4 hourly time frame because that is going to be the most important support to look at and honestly i think the one hour time frame here as well is very important since you can clearly see because we've created more than six very clear touch points from of this level and every single time we've been touching it we've been bouncing from these levels so i will be once again looking very closely towards this level because if we remain to be bouncing from of this level right here i could be expecting the continuation is probably going to be extending for bitcoin so bitcoin is creating a somewhat of a consolidation phase towards the upside right now here as long as we remain to be holding the support on the lower side i don't really see a reason to be really panicking on bitcoin but once we break below this very important support line we could potentially see some more bearish price section for bitcoin so quickly saying a thing in between here guys sam beckman free finally got the core decision and he is facing 150 15 years in prison so basically a life sentence in prison due to the fact that he was of course stealing customer funds from FTX so massive news that just hit the market important to know and once again an important lesson do not scam because this is literally what your faith is going to be and just another quick lesson please don't scam people on the internet or whatsoever just don't scam in general because your faith is going to be in prison just like SBF if it if you are going to be doing so further on we can currently see that actually on the four time frame bitcoin is creating a lower high here on the rsi while the price section is creating a higher high what means that we're currently creating a bearish divergence and i already discussed this on yesterday's video once again also exactly on the top side i mentioned this yesterday and of course a lot of people were not taking me seriously because the price action was only going up but in these periods you have to be very very careful and you have to be very very focused because bitcoin was literally losing some momentum on the move towards the upside not only on the four time frame but also on the daily time frame also on the 12 hour time frame also on the 10 hour and basically we were just spotting a momentum loss and that is why i mentioned it and actually since of that point bitcoin came down a little bit here and right now remains to be consolidating in a 34 000 us dollar region i also yesterday was looking at the chart and actually i think we're in a very similar range like this region right here let me go to the daily time frame for bitcoin i think we're right in a similar range like this region right here why is because here we also saw that bearish diverge getting created Bitcoin moved upwards, but then went down, but basically consolidated sideways. I think we're going to get something similar like that, like this, something like this in the price section before then once again creating a gigantic move for Bitcoin. In that case, previously, rent, we went up a little bit higher, then we went down again and had something like this in terms of the price section. So Bitcoin could be quite boring for the post. So to be very honest, if we're looking at history, after these big moves happen, obviously Bitcoin tends to be quite boring afterwards. So I won't be surprised if we're going to be uh, once again, see a lot of consolidation around this region and see somewhat of this price action for bitcoin on the price action right now so looking further on in towards bitcoin i mean we got rejected by this most important resistance line here sitting around thirty six thousand US dollars what i've talked about many many times before in my videos i mean honestly if bitcoin really moves down here and gets rejected massively comes down to thirty one thousand dollars that will be a massive opportunity since that was previously around massive resistance on the price section of bitcoin and if you were to be trading anything make sure to go to the link description of today's video because you can right now claim a forty thousand US dollar deposit bonus and without the link it's only a 400 us dollar deposit bonus and also if you're interested on spending your crypto you definitely should sign
sign up to Bybit because you can right now sign up freely for the Bybit card where you can spend your crypto earnings. So I've got it here, the Bybit card. I can literally spend my crypto using this debit card so this is absolutely insane if you're interested in getting that make sure to also sign up again using that link below claim that the puzzle bonus get that bybit card right now further on we can currently see that if we're looking at bitcoin right now here on the daily time frame we're looking at somewhat of a momentum loss right i just already discussed that on the daily time frame we can clearly see bitcoin is creating somewhat of a bearish divergence but clearly we're looking to be somewhat at the top side of this move here so what i'm expecting is probably somewhat of a correction and some more sideways consolidation action i I don't really am expecting right now any big moves of course i am expecting a big move once the etf news is going to hit the market but until that i honestly really would expect it's going to be somewhat of radio silence so we'll be remaining to be very cautious and of course right now for bitcoin i'm going to make some new analysis on the price action right now here but really what bitcoin needs to be doing here is at least to hold up that effort solving support line and if we really want to be continuing this rally towards the upside i need to see that previous high getting taken out so looking further on towards bitcoin i mean we create this perfect w pattern we broke outside of the neckline and right now we are continuing towards the upside so if bitcoin really were to be coming down and retest the w pattern it would be a very good opportunity but to be very clear the price target of this w pattern is somewhere around 38 000 US dollars so so far the price target has not been reached here and probably bitcoin is still going to continue further on here but honestly the biggest resistance for bitcoin is laying ahead of us around 36.5k so i'm going to be looking very closely towards that level since that is going to be in my opinion the most important level to be paying attention towards and if we're really going to be looking for bitcoin on the weekly time frame we are literally breaking back in towards the bull market territorium like you can currently see so i am definitely very excited for bitcoin right now here i honestly do think that we're right now seeing a gigantic shift in trend here and honestly i still think it's probably going to be happening a potential retest of that 31 thousand US dollars but if that happens you're literally longing this level that previously ran provide support in the bull market flip into resistance and that will be a massive massive opportunity if we were to be opening up any long position around the level so if bitcoin really comes down here i think there will be a lot of buyers over there but i will be also be one to open up a massive massive bitcoin trade here so i'm going to be looking closely towards that level bitcoin right now about to be getting overbought and historically speaking once it gets overbought it tends to stay overbought for a little bit longer so maybe this move could get more exponential but for now on i will remain to be very very cautious on the price action of bitcoin 40 minute short term you should be looking at the upper slowing support line do we break this level i do think there's a little bit more downside coming for bitcoin but anyways this was it for me in today's update video today is friday the last day of trading tomorrow it's a weekend so expect not a lot of volatility tomorrow but anyways this was it for me in today's update video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye